This is GAA, and I'm looking at the Allianz GA Football League, uh, Ulster Counties and Divisions 1 to 3, and the complete Round 7 tables. The story of the league for me so far has to be Kildare. How do they fix that? They lost 7 out of 7, and I'm not even sure if they've hit rock bottom yet. I do feel Division 1 was all shadow boxing, and I think Derry still have more in them. The league finals may also encourage some of the teams to show more of their hands with silverware on the line. Outcomes in Division 1, if we look at the table, Derry and Dublin are into the league final, and at the bottom, Roscommon and Monaghan are relegated. Kerry finished on 10 points level with Dublin, but the uh, difference in the head-to-head -head was uh, just the, the difference between the two teams. Mayo, I think, had already settled themselves for a mid-table position. Um, I'll talk more about Tyrone in a moment. Derry Dublin will hopefully live up to its billing and we'll see both teams go for it. Their respective managers have different reasons for wanting to win. Desi wants to test his charges in the white heat of battle, as he won't get that in Leinster, and he may not get really test again until the last couple of group stage games. Also, he has only shared a Division 1 title on his resu uh, resume, as during COVID, Dublin shared their title as they both won their respective group with Kerry, as they both won their respective groups of four, and there was no final. Mickey just loves silverware, and a cup is a cup, and he will go for it. Derry also lost their Division 2 title last year to Dublin, so they will have to set that record straight. And it could prove to be an interesting tussle as the current best Ulster County faces the current All-Ireland champions. Monaghan may shoot back up uh, to Division 1 in 2026, but that may prove more difficult given, given the competitiveness of Division 2. The fact that Monaghan relied so much on Ray, Rory Began over the last 10 years and never blooded another keeper came back to haunt them this season. And it should be a lesson for all county managers. Tyrone, well, I'd mentioned I'd come back to them. They equally have work to do and their last outing against Dublin has exposed many weaknesses that may prove fatal to any kind of Ulster hopes and definitely Sam Maguire looks a long way off. Outcomes for Division 2 were as follows. Donegal and Armagh promoted and of course into the league final. That of course had been decided uh, before the final game. The relegation battle went right down to the wire. Uh, Kildare were gone a number of games ago but Fermanagh and Louth battled gamefully right to the line and Louth managed to keep themselves up with Fermanagh going to Division 3 next season. Donegal and Armagh should provide the ideal appetizer on Sunday before the main course. Again, both managers will have different reasons for wanting to win. McGinney definitely needs something on the table 10 years in and with too many near misses. Armagh, I would say, will be going all out for this one. I would hope so as an Armagh supporter, but the promotion, uh, the, the video I put up recently of Kieran McGinney when speaking after the court game uh, may suggest that he also has an eye on the championship. Uh, Jim McGinnis will also have an eye on the championship. But he would see both promotion and a league title as a real stamp on his return to Donegal management. The early word in the injury front though from Donegal is that they will definitely be without Ryan McHugh and Paddy McBrady. The trick when we're talking in league terms is for Donegal and Armagh to stay in Division 1 next season. The first season back up is always the most difficult. For Mana, they are capable of coming back up next season and while they'll find Division 3 an easier station, they are in that yo-yo category with any hopes of an Ulster title looking distant. Division 3 final positions. Down and West Mead are promoted or into that league final and the relegated group are Wicklow and Limerick. Anthem finished mid-table on 6 points. Down West Mead on Saturday should prove to be the beginning of a successful sortie by the Ulster contingent into the capital, as Conor Lafferty will be hoping that his team's current form continues and they prove too strong, and they should be more lethal than Westmead. In my opinion, their current heavy scoring ratio will prove to be the difference in what should be an open and entertaining game. There's a lot riding in this for Down, as the losers would effectively be the 16th team in Sam Maguire rankings. And if Clare managed to negotiate their way to a Munster final, they would effectively knock out that 16th ranked team. 
Fermanagh are capable of coming back up to Division Three, uh, back up out of Division Three, but it can be a quagmire, and Clare and Sligo will be their main opposition next year. To me, Kildare haven't bottomed out yet, and they may even struggle in three if they don't get their act together. Antrim football looks reasonably good at the moment, and a good run in the Tolshan Cup should give it a lift. But is Antrim content with Division Three football? Their underage structure looks out of sorts at the minute, and this doesn't bode well for the future. Clare and Sligo will definitely start next season as the favourites to get out of three, with Romana giving them a run. But Antrim are two good results from being in the mix for that promotion race, but they're also two bad results from being in a relegation dogfight next time out. I'll obviously be back for the Sam Maguire and Tolson Cup group stages. Meanwhile, up our ma. If you enjoyed this podcast, subscribe, like or share, depending on what platform you're on. Also, if you're an expat from an Ulster County, have a listen or a watch, or better still, follow the podcast and get regular updates on your county team's progress. Enjoy the trip to Crow Park, safe journeys to everyone, and hopefully all the Ulster teams involved bring back some form of silverware, particularly Armagh and that Ulster doubleheader. <laughs>